Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before this video starts, I am not an expert, okay? I am just making this because I was helping my friends out with, like, their shooting form and then, you know, like, post moves and stuff because they're, you know, they're pretty big. And so I just figured I'd make this video because it worked pretty well for them. So if it doesn't work for you, I'm not an expert. Don't hate me. Now I will make one for guards and I guess I can make one for, like, wing players as well. Okay, so we are going to start this off with Dirk Nowitzki's jump shot. Now we're going to start from the bottom and move our way up. Now Dirk Nowitzki, notice his feet. They don't point straight at the basket. They point slightly off. And then if you notice his legs, he does a slight bend. And then they do a little kick forward to give him a little bit more momentum and make it easier on his jump shot. Now... Keep his torso real quick. Right when he's in the air, it's perfectly straight. No slight bends forward or backwards. It's perfectly straight up to give him a more, little more momentum. Now his hands, he does an over-the-head release. And his, like, if you notice, his wrist is always bent backwards. I'll show it right here. His wrist is always bent backwards, so it's ready for him to shoot at any moment. And then when he finishes, don't forget to follow through, and you'll be good. That gives him a high arc. A high arc is amazing. Now, speaking of Dirk, let's go to his beautiful patent pending step back, which is actually pretty simple. If you look at it, he p he um, pushes off the leg that he kicks. Well, not really kicks, but you know, quote unquote kicks. So he pushes off it. That way, he can start leaning back. Then he lifts it in the air and kicks it up and kicks his knee up high. That way, he keeps the defender at bay, and the defender can't block him. If it sounds like I'm stuttering, I'm sorry. This, uh, this is taking me so long. Now, go to Tim Duncan's bank shot. Really simple. Just make sure you have enough space, use that high arc we got from the Dirk shot, and really just hit it off the glass. Like, it's, it's really not that difficult. Timmy hit some of the little jab step to get some space, but anytime you have space and you're near, like, you're at an angle, or just hit the glass. I really don't know what to say here. This one just seems really easy, but it's very effective. Speaking of easy and effective, the sky hook. Now, I know not everyone is seven feet tall, but all you have to do is just take one step, raise your knee up as high as you can, get full extension, and flick it into the basket. Now, this is a good example because Kareem's too old to throw it straight down, and I'm pretty sure no one here is tall enough to throw it straight down, or they wouldn't be watching my video. So, just look at his arm, though. That's something I don't know. That's something I notice that a lot of people don't do. If you look at his left arm, he uses it to like shield the defender. This is not a good example of it, but he does do it. Switching to defense, Shaq guarding. No, gets Shaq getting guarded by Dennis Rodman. Dennis clamped him up. Dennis held him to two points and three quarters despite being a f half a foot smaller than him now if <laughs> he lowers the center of gravity so that way Shaq needs to use more effort to push him also look at his hands he pushes against Shaq's hip and this is a legal move in page 44 of the NBA rulebook section one ish um, you are, it says that you're allowed to use your hand and forearm in the painted area when being back down. Now we're going to the dream shake. Now it's really simple. Don't do this at the beginning of the game. Do it towards the end when they already want to block you and try to stop you. Now if you notice his legs, he never lifts up his pivot foot, obviously. His pivot foot is constantly moving though. That way you can do it fast. So just constantly be spinning. You don't have to go too crazy, but just make sure that you don't lift up that foot and spinning helps you keep the momentum so fake the layup fake the shot and if they fall for the layup to shoot the shot don't fake it again that's stupid and yeah you're good now this one i've never even heard of till right now but it's really really easy this one you have to be heavy to do though now what jack does he puts his weight on joking noah gets joking noah to try to push back right when he pushes because Shaq is so big he has to push with a lot of his force, so Shaq spins out of the way. Joakim Noah is going to push, and Shaq just dunks it home. Thank you for watching, everybody. This took me so much time. Sorry if the commentary wasn't that good. This is like...
honestly taking me forever. But um, if you want me to do a guard one, yeah, 20 likes, and I'll do one for guards. And this was fun. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.